So welcome everybody to um, our Rule of Life Toolbox week two. It's great to have Emily O'Shea with us, joining us, and she's going to share some of her experiences with us as we look at tool number two today. Emily, how long have you been part of our church for? Um, it must be five or six years now. Yep. Five or six years. Well, I'm really still the newborn on the block then, and you've been here for a couple of years. Um, but it's great to have you with us today. Normally, Emily... Um, sort of manages our administration basically and deals with lots of the communication so her role has been is, is always vital and holds us all together and it's been especially important um over these last couple of months but today emily you're going to be speaking to us on something rather different from sort of administration and from emails i'm um, looking at tool number two of our toolbox which is examine the practice of examine so i wonder if you could just explain to us um what that is to start off with yeah, sure. So um, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, because I always said examine. And then I was doing some research yesterday and people were saying examine. So are we going to go said, with examine? <laughs> I've said I've said examine before, so I have no idea. Okay, but it we'll go with that. What about. <laughs> so it's um, it's a, a practice. It's a, I guess it's about 400 years old or more. And mm. it's um, it's a way of praying um, where you look at your day and you kind of review your day but in the presence of God. And the idea is to bring um, God more into the sort of ordinary bits of your day and to become closer to God through that. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And I suppose, you know, we all have our different ways of praying and some people don't like to have so much of a structured discipline or practice. But um, why, if someone who hasn't really thought about doing this kind of practice before, why might you think that they're important for our ongoing prayer life, our ongoing uh, Christian journey, if you like? Well, um, I'll be honest with you, I don't find prayer that easy. I find it um, quite difficult to be still. I don't like to be still. I like to be busy. You know, I like to do yeah. things. So, um, and a lot of the time I find I'm, I'm talking to God throughout the day. Um, but actually, it's good to have that sort of discipline time as well. And so it's good. To, what I find is it's good to just pray in different ways. So there's phases I've gone through where I've just sort of been really into the Lord's Prayer and praying that every day. And there's times when I've been really into reading lots of scripture and other times when I've just kind of um, been just meditating on one verse, you know, for, for days and days. Um, so, um, so I think it's just good to mix it up, really, and just um, have some different ways of praying. So it, it just keeps the relationship good. Um, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I think it's one of the things to discover that prayer is so huge in the ways that we can do it. And we do move in those different seasons. And this is just one way and just one tool that might be helpful so without me rambling on too much I wonder if you could just sort of explain to us then kind of practically how you do it and how um, those of us that have never done this sort of thing before might find it easy and accessible and uh, to get into as, as to form a, a discipline of that. So um, I think there's actually slightly different ways of doing it but the way I do it is um, so the first thing is to um, just to remember who God is to remember that he's our father and to come into his presence and to sort of sometimes I take some deep breaths just to kind of still myself um and then I ask for God's wisdom and some people say to ask for his light to kind of um to be able to review the day from his perspective rather than your own perspective um so you do that to start with um then um the next thing is sort of saying thank you for the day that you've had um and to go through the day and to sort of find things to to be grateful for and somebody said it's like gathering a, a bouquet of flowers you know um, I don't do a lot of flower arranging myself but um so if, if you um think about you know big things and little things and and sort of picking out those real gems from your day and sort of gathering them together and saying thank you for them um and the next thing that you do is um you you sort of review your day in more detail so you have a think about what were you doing in the morning and who you were with and um you know um how you felt about that and then you do the same sort of for the afternoon and the evening and really try and remember what happened and the main thing is how you felt about that so what feelings did you have and it's good to give a name to those feelings so were you angry or perhaps you were feeling frustrated or or afraid or joyful um and one or two of those things will kind of stand out for you. So then you bring those to Jesus and um, you just sort of pray through them with Jesus. And, um, and I don't think everyone does this, but if you look on the Practicing the Way website, this is how they do it. Um, 
you think about whether Jesus ever felt like that. And perhaps there's a, a verse or something that comes to mind and you can actually look that up. Um, and I found that really powerful actually, because um, it sort of makes you feel more a part of Je Jesus's life and him more a part of your life. And the things that you were carrying, you're not carrying them on your own anymore. Um, so I found that really helpful actually, um, because I, I don't know um, about anyone else. I've got really big emotions sometimes. and um, actually, it's good to know that Jesus had big emotions as well, and, and the Bible's very emotional, and that's okay, so that's good. Um, and the final thing you do is um, you think about tomorrow, and um, perhaps there's things you need help for, and you ask for help. So a lot of the time I'm praying sort of for the fruits of the Spirit, so more peace, um, more patience, always more patience, mm. um, more joy, things like that, So um, and, and just sort of give that to God. Great. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's how I do it. <laughs> Thank you. That's really helpful. That's really helpful to me, certainly, as well, to hear your honest experiences about it and how it affects you from a sort of a deep emotional, spiritual level, which is which touches all of us in different ways. Um, I suppose one of the challenges with something like eczema and being a discipline is that you do have to keep doing it sort of thing. I mean, is it something that you do every day? Um, does it matter if you miss a day or even if you miss a week sort of thing? How what would you say on the sort of discipline front of that? It, um, it? I would say that I am not very good at being disciplined. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I, as I said, I go through phases. So there's, there's sometimes I'm sort of praying a certain type of prayer all the time. Yeah. So this is one I, I was really into a couple of years ago, and, and okay. I was um, doing that. So, um, so clearly, the the more you do it, the, the closer you know you'll feel to Jesus. And um, yeah. the good thing is that um, He's always there. You know, God's always there. And um, he's always present so sometimes you talk about God being really present but actually you know God's always present it's just us that isn't present so yeah. it's it's the, the more you do it I suppose the more you, you understand and know his presence so yeah. yeah good that's encouraging to know isn't it um are there any particular you were just mentioning before when we were chatting about some resources um that you would recommend are there any particular ones that you'd like to highlight I think we can you know we can put them on the website below this video is there anything you'd like to sort of just say to point people towards yeah, so the one that I discovered this through um, is the website Practicing the Way. Um, and I think we had it on the, the email newsletter yep. a, a couple of weeks ago. Um, and another one I've just discovered is the Pray As You Go website. Mm. So um, I've been finding that really useful, but they actually have a whole exam section. And there's not just one, there's, there's many. And it depends what music you like and whether you want it in a Welsh accent or an English accent. <laughs> Great. You through it. So um yeah so there's lots of good stuff but we'll put the links on the website shall we and then yeah and then people can access them and, and delve into what they want to brilliant well emily thank you so much for giving up your time to come and speak to us i found that really helpful and i really hope that is helpful to any of you that are already kind of doing examine but have had someone else's perspective or perhaps for some of you that have never really delved into this sort of thing and might find it really useful so thank you so much emily and bless you in your prayer life and your walk with jesus thank you bye